Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is Dr. Connie Chung. I have a extensive educational background. Um, I have a bachelor's degree in psychology, master's in nutrition, a doctorate in physical therapy, been a clinician for over 25 years, as well as a board certified in Institute of Functional Medicine in functional medicine. And I'm a ERYT certified at the 500 hour with Yoga Alliance. All that being said, I utilize yoga as a specific tool to help you to regulate your nervous system, to really empower you, to really reach in to your own essence and your healing power from within to heal from any kind of symptoms, whether it be physical, mental, and emotional, as well as chronic illnesses, I believe all the answers are within you, that we have a biochemical capacity and the ability to heal our own bodies if we can align from within, inside out. That's what we do here. Welcome, and I can't wait to get to know you better. Hey everyone, my name is Dr. Connie, and today I wanna to talk to you guys about the importance of foundation in all that we do, really, when you think about yoga, we think about asanas, right, poses. And the fluid, pose by pose, connected by transitions, all require core awareness. So I really want to hone in on core activation. What does that even mean? Well, most of the yogis that I know, they tend to have flared out ribs, meaning if you palpate below your ribs, you can probably palpate way into your organs inside your abdominal cavity. When you have proper core activation, the rib cage does not flare. We call this the inferior border of your ribs. It needs to be flush with your abdomen. That's the transversus abdominis. It's not your rectus, the six pack where we do sit-ups, right? All day long. That doesn't necessarily get you strong because core is something that we were born with when we're up against gravity we should be able to connect to the core and core isn't just the muscles of the fronts like the abdomen that we commonly think about it is also the diaphragm everything to do with your breath and your pelvic floor our elimination process we need the pelvic floor as well as the multifidi along the back it's the deepest part of your spinal muscles. It needs to be activated. You should be activating your core to really fend off the gravitational force. And as we get older, what happens is gravity, right? It's 9.8 meters per second. Everything's gonna fall. It's gonna go south. Same with our bodies. And yet, all of us tend to hang on our bones, right? Common thing is this posterior tilt of your pelvis, forward shoulders, forward head. And we just hang on our bones, stumping through life. When we do yoga, we wanna go the other way, bring awareness to surge up. And then I really wanna focus in on how you can do that, is I want you to, if you're not used to activating your core, just standing there with me, I want you to go ahead and look down at your feet and maybe place them hip width apart. So in yoga, I say, measure two fist width between the toes and the heels. Okay, stay with me. I know it doesn't like what, the core? But yeah, this has everything to do with the core because core is the foundation for you to stand on. It's not the feet, it's the core that surges you up to keep you erect with proper alignment and posture, and that's super important for you to know, okay? When you look down, I want you to keep your toes up. Bend your knees slightly, push the floor away with both feet. Toes come up allows you to activate the arches of your feet, specifically more towards the inner arches of your feet, because a lot of us totally splay out into our pelvis and there is no internal rotation and activation through the inner thighs. Especially if you're women who have given birth, we gave birth and never did we take the time to pull it back together, right? So this is how you become aware. Knees slightly bend, push the floor away. Then I want you to start to draw the navel to the spine, tuck your tailbone slightly under. Now, if you are really squeezing your butt, that means you're really, really weak in your low back. It's overcompensation. So it should be nice and 
smooth or soft, tuck your tailbone slightly and your lower abs should draw inward towards the spine, like flattening, like a corset effect. And I want you to draw the rib cages down and in to have that slimming effect, not just everything splayed out. Having your index finger and the thumb around your rib cage like this, elbows out, shoulders are drawn down. I want you to take a deep breath in, taking a stance, just like I told you. Feet shoulder width apart, bend your knees, push the floor away, tuck your tailbone slightly, activating the lower abs, hands around the ribs, take a deep breath in through your nose and you can feel the ribs expand and then as you exhale, I want you to open your mouth slowly and then fog a mirror. And as you do that, the more you exhale, it kind of coincides with spinal flexion. Inhalation coincides with spinal extension. But I want you to just, as you exhale, stay long and slimming through the middle so that the ribs are not flaring out but it's drawing inward to have this tightening effect from the inside out right so again inhale and exhale so subtle you're gonna feel these outer core right under the outside border that spans from the inferior border, lower part of your rib all the way down to your pelvis, it sort of tightens to where your fingers are being pushed out and then the ribs are kind of flush with your abdomen as the abdomen contracts to keep you nice and tall. There's no flexion, that's the rectus abdominis, which is what we do you know, sit-ups for, and that can cause a lot of pooch, but it doesn't provide you with the spinal stability that you need throughout all the movements in yoga, okay? So I'm going to show you how I can engage as I flow through some sequences, and I'm going to kind of um, hone in on my version of triangle incorporating the contractual element of your core properly, as well as warrior three, and how that can really activate your core. And it's in these dynamic movements, the more you can fine tune into activating those uh, elements is going to really actually help you to gain what you're here to gain from a yoga practice in the most optimal way, okay? So coming to the top of your mat, inhaling your arms up, exhale, fold forward, bend your knees slightly, palms to the mat. Inhale, lift up and out of your chest, palms flat. Let's take the right foot back, left foot back, drawing the ribs down and in, pulling the navel to the spine. We're going to shift forward, keeping the elbows grazing the sides of your ribs. Go down slow, push down to lift, meaningfully transferring the weight onto the top of your toes. Lift up, tuck your toes, lift your hips, downward dog. This is where a lot of you start to walk your feet forward, but I want you to keep it from plank into downward dog. And it's gonna feel a little bit long, but this is where, again, core is activated. Draw the ribs down and in, pull it in, push the floor away with all your five fingertips. Draw it in, and then gently, if you have to, bend your knees to take the tailbone up. And that's gonna create a lot of this anterior tilt flaring out your ribs. That's where I want you to tuck, engage, and pull and push. Deep in breath, deep out breath. Bend your knees a lot, gaze forward, left foot forward, right foot forward, inhale, lift. Exhale, fold, and tuck all the way up, engaged at the core. We're gonna step it out with the right, standing nice and tall. This is a triangle pose. A lot of the times, we wanna go all the way, we jut out our back or our hips, and then we wanna reach down and our spine is all over the place, and everything is pooching out. The way we like to do it is to really stand firm, heels align in this triangle. This is triangle with core activation. So I want you to really stand firm. Right hip is open into external rotation. Left hip is closed because I have the left foot into slight internal rotation. And then I wanna find even bearing 
of the weight into both feet. Arms go out, shoulders drawn down, not up here. Down, stay nice and tall. Engaging the core and engaging the thighs. We're gonna go without jutting the hips to get there. You're gonna stay down and go up, just like that. So it feels like incomplete. My right hip is going forward, left hip is going back really grounding through my feet, and I feel a lot of core here. Deep in breath, deep out breath, inhale, come back from that position, pivot on your heels, switch the feet position. Again, avoid jutting your hips out. It's a tendency, we all do this, and I see this so commonly in yoga. I want you to really ground down through your feet, and down. So you're making sure that you're staying 50-50 on 50-50 of your weight on both feet. Gazing up, deep in breath, and deep out breath, and come up, and heel toe your feet towards the front of your mat. Next thing is, I want you to come to the back of your mats, hands on your hips, come high up on your toes, left heel down, bend your right knee. Lift the left toes, and straighten the right leg, bend your left knee, heel toe into the right foot, and then from here, take the elbows back and lift, stay tall. Again, lots of core, because this is where I'm not allowing my body to be hyper arched, to create this flaring of my ribs. I go nice and slow down, slow, keeping the hips parallel. There's gonna be a lot into my right hip, a lot into my core, and I'm essentially making a T with my body, deep in breath, deep out breath. And the way I come out is left toes down, bend into that leg, and then more core by lifting the right leg, bend and lower because transitions matter. Come high up on your toes, evening out the other side, right heel down, bend your left knee, straightening that leg, bend your right knee, heel, then toe, then lift, and keep your pelvis square. Lift up, 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 and go forward, deep in breath, deep out breath. There again, got into my hips. Pelvis is aligned, the core is active, everything is flush. I feel this all in my core. Bend your left knee, right toes down, bending into the right knee. Then I'm gonna choose to lift up a little bit more core, bend. Simple activation like that brings you back to awareness to your body. Not just flowing through mindlessly just to get through the class, but really slowing down, connected to your breath. Thinking about your alignment makes all the difference in yoga because avoid injury and we want to promote health and wellness and vitality through your practice of yoga. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave me comments. Bye. Thank you for watching. Your time is valuable to me and I appreciate you being here. If you found my videos helpful, I put out weekly videos for you so that you can benefit from it. So I would love it if you subscribed as well as comment, review me, follow me on social at Instagram, YouTube, as well as TikTok at Dr. Connie Chung. I'd love to hear from you. DM me, comment below and let's connect. I'll see you guys all later.